In a previous video, I discussed the three different hair loss treatments in the Big 3 Hair Loss Regimen. One of those treatments was Minoxidil, and today I wanted to talk about Minoxidil in more depth. Minoxidil is the most popular hair loss treatment being used today. It is the first FDA-approved topical product for hair loss. Most know it as Rogaine, however, Rogaine is a brand of Minoxidil, and Minoxidil is the actual active ingredient known to have the benefits and ability to regrow hair. The treatment is for androgenetic alopecia, which is pattern baldness and is available over the counter. Exactly how and why minoxidil promotes hair growth is still not understood. Minoxidil was first used actually as an oral drug to treat high blood pressure. It was discovered that it aided in hair loss, so the Upjohn Corporation created minoxidil 2% topical solution named Rogaine in the United States, and they called it Regain in Europe. Rogaine was manufactured by Upjohn Pharmaceutical and approved by the FDA in 1988. The patent expired in 1996 and that's when generic minoxidil brands started popping up. Currently the most common forms of minoxidil on the market are a topical solution which is a, which is a liquid form and a minoxidil foam version which looks similar to a hair mousse. There are many different brands of minoxidil on the market today such as Rogaine which is the leading brand, Kirkland, Equate, DS Labs, Minoxidil Max, and Lipogain, just to name a few. The one thing that all these have in common, though, is that they all have the same active ingredient, which is Minoxidil. However, some products can differ in terms of uh, quality of the Minoxidil, other active ingredients, as well as differing inactive ingredients in the solutions. Some solutions uh, add other active ingredients such as uh, azel azelaic acid, caffeine, retinol, and other ingredients. Other ingredients to uh, watch out for in monoxidal solutions are glycerin and propylene glycol, otherwise known as uh, PG. Some solutions contain glycerin while others contain propylene glycol. It's estimated that 10% of people are actually allergic to propylene glycol, therefore if you have a negative reaction with a, with a solution that contains propylene glycol, then you should consider switching to minoxidil solution without propylene glycol. Uh, an example of this would be uh, if someone was using, for example, a uh, Rogaine topical solution, uh, which contains PG. Uh, some users actually uh, might uh, have an irritated scalp, such as it could start getting itchy, for example. Um, and then they switch over to the uh, Rogaine foam version, which does not contain propylene glycol, and then the uh, the irritation goes away, and uh, they're able to use the product successfully. Minoxidil strengths range anywhere between uh, two percent to fifteen percent, as as of this video. Uh, women minoxidil strengths is uh, typically 2%, although I've seen it as high as 5%, although it's not recommended to go to 5%. Uh, the recommendation for women is a 2% strength. The typical strength for a men's minoxidil is 5%, however, you can find it as high as 15%. Um, most men start off using the 5% strength, and women start off using the 2% strength solutions because that's what you uh, mainly see in stores because that's what's FDA approved here in the United States at least. Um, some men consider start off using the 10%, 15% solutions thinking they're just going to start growing more hair right away, but it's not recommended to do that. It's recommended to start off with a lower strength, for example, for men at 5% and not move up to any stronger strength solutions until the 5% uh, strength is not uh, no longer effective. Uh, there's different reasons why you want to start off with a lower strength. For example, number one, you want to test to see if minoxidil is going to first off work for you and you're not going to have any negative reactions to your scalp or anything like that. Um, second reason is price. Um, the higher so solutions are more expensive, so why use those more expensive ones if you can get away with using the 5% solutions and those are just effective uh, for you in regrowing your hair. And lastly, you want to have room to go up, so you want to start off the 5, use that as long as you can until it's no longer effective, then move up in increments. Uh, you want to go to the next strength, the next strength, and uh, end up at the highest strength at the very end, uh, if even needed. Uh, but you don't want to start at the 15, because once that stops working for you, then you have nowhere to go. As far as how to use minoxidil, it's applied two times per day, typically once in the morning and once in the evening, directly on the scalp. You basically want to follow the directions as far as how much to apply because each uh, product could be a little different as far as 
the foam's a little different than the topical solutions as far as how to apply it and how much to apply. Uh, but you want to either way direct, apply it directly to the scalp and spread it around um, into the areas of where you want to regrow your hair. Uh, it said minoxidil only assists hair loss on the vertex. However, many users have had much much success regrowing hair on the hairline as well, and that's the frontal hairline. You know, the as you know, at the receding hairline part. Um, it's also best to apply minoxidil and wait for it to dry before using any hair styling solutions. You want to give minoxidil enough time to absorb into your scalp before washing your hair, and that's typically four hours after application. Uh, you don't want to wash it out too soon, otherwise you might. Uh, um, lessen the uh, effectiveness by washing away the minoxidil before it absorbs into your scalp and gets time to work for you. How long does it take for minoxidil to work? Minoxidil typically takes two to four months to uh, start seeing the results so it's recommended to take the product for at least four months to determine if it's working for you. Uh, everybody, everybody's different, everybody's gonna have a different reaction for example uh, you know some might start seeing results a lot faster than the others so it's it's definitely recommended again uh, to to take it for at least four months in case you're one of those that it takes a little longer to see the results uh, there's not one product out there that's gonna work for everybody so you pretty much have to use minoxidil and uh, you know to, to see if it's gonna work for you but also make sure you're gonna use it for at least that four months time to, to uh, really tell if it's gonna work for you or not um, I've heard uh, some stories where people take it for one to two months, get frustrated that they don't see any results, but again, you really want to take it for four months. Uh, if you do not notice any uh, hair regrowth after four months, then it's recommended to stop using the product. Um, another reason to stop using it would be uh, uh, obviously any negative reactions that you might have. Um, minoxidil is meant for continued use, so uh, once you start using the product and it's working for you, you got to continue using the product daily, otherwise, once you stop, it, it, soon after, your, your hair is going to start falling out again. This next slide, you'll be able to find most of the information on the uh, minoxidil boxes yourself, so I'm going to go through this real quick. Uh, do not use minoxidil if you have no family history of hair loss, because that's not uh, pattern baldness. Minoxidil is meant for pattern baldness. Uh, do not use it uh, if your hair loss is sudden or patchy. Do not use minoxidil if you do not know the reason for your hair loss. Again, it's designed for pattern baldness. Uh, do not use it if you're under 18 years old and do not use it on babies and children. Do not use uh, minoxidil if your scalp is red, inflamed, infected, or irritated, and, or painful. Uh, do not use it if you use other medicines on your scalp. And uh, definitely, uh, uh, if you have a heart disease, ask a doctor before using minoxidil. And if the following occurs, you want to definitely stop using minoxidil and ask a doctor. Um, so stop using minoxidil and ask a doctor if you have chest pain, rapid heartbeat, faintness, or dizziness occurs. Uh, stop using minoxidil and ask a doctor if you have sudden unexplained weight gain, uh, if your hands or feet swell, uh, if you have scalp irritation or redness occurs. Uh, unwanted facial hair growth occurs. Um, you want to stop using minoxidil and ask a doctor if you do not see hair regrowth in four months. Uh, the vast majority of minoxidil users do not experience side effects. However, the most common one is scalp itchiness or irritation. If this occurs, stop using the product immediately and the itchiness or irritation should actually go away soon thereafter. Minoxidil prices. The cost of minoxidil products vary drastically. There are some products in the market uh, that are expensive, for example, like Rogaine. Uh, they're expensive because they're the number one leading brand. They have a ton of commercials. They spend a ton in advertising. Um, and they're, uh, they're branding themselves as the number one uh, recommended uh, brand by dermatologists. So they're, they charge higher prices to recoup their advertising costs. Uh, other uh, brands advertise their product uh, that they're the next new miracle hair loss product so they charge higher prices for that reason uh, however if you actually look at their ingredients compared to even the generic products ingredients they might even be the same but these other products are charging double the prices because they're they're a new uh, brand marketing themselves as a new hot product on the market so what you want to do if you're comparing uh, shopping around for minoxidil products is compare both the active and inactive ingredients make sure that if you're paying higher prices 
for a product, you're getting an uh, added benefit such as an added active ingredient that's going to help regrow your hair. Otherwise, you're just spending more money for the exact same product in a different name. Um, if price is a concern, why not start off with a generic, cheaper uh, brand such as Kirkland or Equate and see how that works out for you? Uh, because typically the, the ingredients are the same in, in many of these minoxidil products, uh, but they're quite a bit cheaper. I mean, there are products out there with added active ingredients that you'll find at our store, and you know that can be a reason for a higher price. But in essence, you want to really compare ingredients when you're trying to get the lowest price out there. Minoxidil tips. Uh, I've talked about uh, pretty much all these uh, in previous slides, but I'll touch base on them again. Um, first tip, brand names are great, but uh, there's nothing wrong with using cheaper generic brands. Um, you want to compare the ingredients, and if you find them similar, then give the generic brands a chance because you'll save a lot of money in the long run. It's a product you're going to be using, hopefully, if it works for you for years and years upon years. So the, the expenses could add up, and you'll save a lot of money in the long run. Uh, if you want to take the leading brand, nothing wrong with that. I'm not going to talk you out of that. Um, it's, it's, it's all about preference and what works for you. Uh, so if, you, if money's not a concern, go ahead and use the leading brand. Uh, price is a concern. There is nothing wrong with, again, t taking generic brands as long as it's working for you and there's no uh, negative uh, uh, effects. Uh, um, if uh, A second tip, uh, use product as the directed to maximize its benefits. Again, follow the directions. It says use it twice a day. Use it twice a day. Uh, make sure you're not washing it out too soon. Make sure it absorbs in your scalp. Spread it around into the areas uh, that you want to see hair growth. Um, and again, use it consistently and uh, as directed. Uh, do not stop using it too soon. Uh, make sure you give it at least four months uh, before making up your mind if it's working for you or not. Unless, of course, you're, you're um, having side effects. Uh, but you definitely want to use it at least four months before quitting. Another tip is if you have a bad reaction, such as an itchy scalp using a minoxidil solution, Check to see if the solution you're currently using contains propylene glycol. If it does contain propylene glycol, try to switch to uh, Rogaine Foam or Minoxidil Max Dual Gen 5 No PG solution or it's called No Propylene Glycol Solution uh, because what's uh, maybe happening is you're allergic to propylene glycol and that's what's making your scalp itchy. So you want to switch to a product without propylene glycol, give that a shot to see if that alleviates the issue. And those type of products are Rogaine Foam and uh, Dualgen 5 no PG solution. A uh, common scenario of what we had uh, uh, some customers have is they might use uh, Kirkland minoxidil topical solution, Rogaine topical solution, or uh, Equate topical solution and then they're, after some usage their their scalp gets itchy they want to quit because they can't take the itchiness but what we recommended is switch to the Rogaine foam or the Dualgen 5 no PG solution and that actually worked for them. Uh, they were able to see hair growth without the itchiness. The itchiness went away, and they were able to continue using minoxidil. So don't just make the decision to stop using minoxidil altogether because of the itchiness, because there are some remedies that you want to try first to see if that could help the uh, issue. Uh, another uh, tip is don't freak out and stop using a product if you start losing more hair in the first few weeks of using minoxidil. Uh, some people uh, experience a shedding process where uh, using this new product creates the old hair that was going to fall out anyway as part of the hair growth cycle. It makes it fall out sooner, so it makes room for the new hair to grow in. So don't freak out when you notice, uh, you know, hair more hair falling out uh, than normal. A lot of people freak out and stop using minoxidil, but it's actually working for you. Uh, it's making that old hair f fall out, so the new hair can regrow in its place. Uh, so you want to continue using the product at that point. You only want to stop if if you're having uh, any of those negative reactions uh, that we discussed in other slides. Um, the best last tip of the day, best tip of the day, visit our site solutions4hairloss.com. The solutions, the number 4hairloss.com. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Facebook. Uh, visit our discount bundle packages. We have a wide selection of minoxidil at very good prices. Thank you. We hope you learned something from this video, and thank you for being a valued customer.